In this tutorial we will discuss AC polarography. Let's discuss with introduction. In AC polarography, both direct and alternating voltages are applied to the indicator electrode while recording the current, DC component is filtered out and only AC component of the current IAC is recorded against the DC potential EDC. The AC polarogram is the plot of the fundamental harmonics AC current versus DC potential. And the peak current is proportional to the concentration of the depolarizer and thus can be utilized for analytic determination purpose. A simple illustration of potential ramp waveform and polarogram response signal is shown here in the figure. AC polarography uses a small amplitude AC signal that is potential E or current I at a fixed frequency to a dropping mercury electrode DME along with the usual DC linear ramp and record the AC current against DC potential. A derivative plot is obtained as DPP. In ACP, no peaks can be obtained for irreversible system. At E is very very greater than E half and E is very very less than E half either oxidant O or reductant R is present so no AC Faradaic current pass through the cell leading to flat background current on either side. And IAC equals IFAC plus INFAC and this is the maximum at E half as oxidant concentration CO equals reductant concentration CR. An AC polarographic reversible wave can be expressed by the expression. E is equal to E half plus 2 RT by NF times log of the sum of IP by I half and IP minus I by I half. The peak potential, EP, can be taken as equivalent to E half, the reversible half wave potential of the DC polarogram. The width of the AC wave at half peak height is given by the following expression. Half width is equal to 1.52 times 2.303 RT by NF is equal to 90 by N at 25 degrees Celsius and N is the number of electrons involved. The peak potential and shape of reversible AC wave is independent of the concentration of depolarizer and drop time. The advantages of AC polarography are Adsorbic substance such as surfactants, which are neither reducible or oxidizable can give rise to AC peaks. The appreciable change in dielectric of the double layer connected with their adsorption or desorption results in appearance of capacitive AC peaks, such waves are called as tensimetric waves and numerous organic compounds display in tensimetric response. This technique is helpful in analysis of mixture of metal ions. In this technique, there is no need of purging nitrogen gas to remove oxygen because AC polarography is insensitive to irreversible process like oxygen reduction. The detection limit of the order of 10 to the power minus 6 to 10 to the power minus 8 molar can be achieved in this technique, etc.